What's going on now? It's your boy Juggalo972. I'm here with the uh, Misunderstood91 and Shannon. Hey, what's up, Marvelous? She is back. How you doing, y'all? Now, when we last left off, we took an onslaught from the Turks and from the rest of Shinra. Well, not necessarily the rest of Shinra. Well, what's left of them? This way, Cloud. Boing, Gotta follow Kate Sith. Alright, let's go follow him real quick. Speed it up a little bit. Just so you know, I have leveled up significantly since the last episode. Yes, I, I know. We were there. No, Fritz, don't even. Yep. Hojo. Oh, yeah, by the way, up here. Hey, this is. Hey, look at us, the missing score. Yes. Barrett's ultimate weapon. The missing score. Make our way up real quick. What the Phoenix represents. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. All right, what's going on here? There's supposed to be first class soldiers here, actually. Ah, fuck it, we don't have time for that. But anyway, just to let you know, you can steal stuff from them. Yes. Okay. Um. Stop right there, Hojo. Oh, the failure. Hey, at least remember my name. It's Cloud. Every time I see you, it pains me that I had a little scientific sense. I saw you as a failed project, or you're the only one that succeeded as a Sephiroth clone. <laughs> I'm, beginning to, I'm beginning to hate myself. Well, you know what? None of that matters. Just stop the nonsense. Nonsense? Oh, this! <laughs> Sephiroth seems to be counting on that energy. So I'm going to lend him a hand. Why would you do that? Quit asking me why, you moron. I'm not a moron, you're a moron. Hmm, actually, you might make a good scientist. Energy level is at 83%. It's taking too long. My son needs power and help. That's the only reason. Your son? <laughs> But he doesn't know it. <laughs> what will Supper I think if he finds out I'm his father? Okay, Luke. <laughs> he always looks down on me. <laughs> Sephiroth is your son. I offered the woman my child for Professor Gas Genova Project. When Sephiroth was still in her womb, we took Genova cells. I can't believe you do that to someone. An illusionary crime against Sephiroth. <laughs> no, you're wrong. It's my desire as a scientist. I was defeated by my drive to become a scientist. I lost last time. I've injected. Ooh, I've injected Genova cells into my own body. <laughs> Here are the results. Okay, everybody. That's just really fucked up, man. Yes. Hojo, the biological father of Sephiroth. Yeah. And Lucretia, the person who gave birth, gave birth to Sephiroth. Now, Hojo, I'm going to tell you right now, is very unorthodox. So the best thing we can do right now is cast Big Guard and Regan. That's what CM Punk said about Delirious. Yeah, very unorthodox. He didn't know what to do with them. You would think so. Now, those little samples right there, they have about 6,000 HP each. Now, don't worry about killing them. Because even if you kill them, though, he's just going to regenerate them. Focus your all your energy. So, yeah, so the best thing we can do right now is start focusing our limit breaks. I saved, by the way, the last few battles. So just start hitting uh, Hojo with everything that you can. As I tell you right now, though, what you see is not what you get. Hmm, <laughs> beautiful suplex too. Ha! <laughs> now let's see. How's the Mako just reacting? Dude! He's on the juice. Whoa! Yeah! What the fuck? Never, I've never seen steroids use, do that. <laughs> Yes, this is what Genova cells do. Now, this is Heletic Hojo. 
Health to go just about uh, 25,000 HP. Uh, 24,000 actually, excuse me. And each arm holds about 10,000. Now what you want to do is you want to focus on the torso like always, but if you want to slow them down, aim for the arms. Oh, go for the arms, yeah. I like to go for the, I believe, oh, what is this? I go for the, the left arm. Yeah, I'll go for the left. Yeah, let's see. One thing you'll notice though is like after each attack though, sometimes he'll hit you with a status effect too. So we're gonna omni slash him first. Thanks to the Ragnarok. Hojo, what the fuck, man? I know, right? Oh, look at that jaw, though. It looks like something from Nightmare on Elm Street. And there uh, goes one of the arms. That's the right arm. See, I, I think... I think somebody's defense would go way down if the right arm was destroyed. Cause we, took out his, we took out his offense, though. Yeah, I, I knew it. I knew it. Because normally... Cause I, we're right-handed. Yeah, I'm right-handed. Shannon, you're right-handed, too, right? See? Yes. That was yes. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh what the? I had a sheer re That wasn't a regeneration. He's dead. He and now. Up. This is life form, Hojo. 30,000 HP. What the Now, this Hojo is the most dangerous out of all of them. He has an attack called Combo. Now, what he's going to try to do is he's going to silence you, and he's going to hit you with constant status effects. We're talking sleep, silence, paralysis, even slow. But this is what the remedies are for. Oh, missed. You missed them more. Not at all. Just keep Big Guard going, and let's just keep hitting them hard. This is what I was talking about combo. So let's summon. For how much? We're gonna hit him hard. <laughs> dragon Ball Z is ass. <laughs> oh, the difference is it's just a dragon. On a flash, motherfucker! Yeah, talk about a mad scientist. Hojo, Hojo is literally the definition of a mad scientist. Insane. Not necessarily what I would call a killing joke, though. I've heard great reviews about that movie. <laughs> yeah, by the way, that I heard the this killing. Uh, what is it? This Batman uh, animated series movie. Kevin Conroy, and Mark Hamill. Well, I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, it just came out in theaters. Actually, I believe it had a limited release. Ah, oh, dude. Mhm. Mm that is the one we've all been waiting for. Okay, Eight thousand damage there. Uh oh. And here he goes trying to silence the critics again. Here we go again. How the hell do you get judgment from a machine? I don't know. How do you? Yeah, that's... Oh. You gotta be a tough motherfucker to survive something like that. Good lord. Alright. 4,000. Yep, the status effects will keep continuing. He's gonna keep silencing us. And there goes the combo. Okay, let's see. Where is the... Okay, <coughs> Echo Screen is what you need. Okay. Gets rid of the silence. Now, mind you, he's going to try to combo everybody. Every person that he can. First from Poison. Yes. So we're going to hit him with Flare. Straight from the Contain Materia. And here he comes again. Oh, look at that. Usually after every attack, though, you can actually counter. <coughs> and everybody's asleep. This is not good. Okay, keep us up. 
Let's restore, shall we? Cloud's gonna need more magic too. Nope. Nope. Oh! He doesn't give up, does he? Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Such silence, though. The the drama, the yeah. drama of this is just amazing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah. Alexander makes a second appearance. Come on, Alexander. Come on, give us a winner. Give us a winner. This has to push about thirty thousand at this point. Yes! He is down. Well, fucking A. That is one less mad scientist in the world. Ooh, look at that. All material was born. Look at all that. And a power source. Sephiroth is Hojo's son. That's the end of the can. I like how Cloud still has a sword out. <coughs> Such an epic way just to stay. Then we're flying again. Shinra's finished. But if you watched Advent Children, Minu's gonna fall in about... Seven more days. That's what Grandfather says. Don't listen to the boob girl. You want to see everyone in Cosmo Canyon again? Yes. You want... Don't ask me that. He wants to see his Mylene. If we don't release the power of Holy in seven days, there won't be a planet left to protect. If we can't beat Sephiroth, it's as good as death for us. We'll go just a few days sooner than the rest who will die from Meteor. I think you're going to fight and lose me before you fight. No! This is where the story begins to unfold more. What I meant was... What are we all fighting for? I want all of us to understand that. Save the planet for the future of the planet? Sure, that's all fine. But really, is that how it is? For me, this is a personal feud. I want to beat Sephiroth to settle my past. Saving the planet just happens to be a part of that. I've been thinking. I think we're all fighting for ourselves. For ourselves, and that someone, something, whatever it is, that's important to us. That's what we're fighting for. That's why we're planning to keep the battle of the planet. Hey, Mr. Understood, what are you fighting for? You're right. Happiness? That sounds cool saying that we're going to save the planet. Janet, what do you fight for? To have fun. I would fight for barbecue. Really? Because barbecue is amazing. Barbecue. <laughs> yeah, I'm fighting for Marlene. For Marlene's future. Go see her. Make sure you're right and come back. All of you, get off the ship and go find your reasons for yourselves. I want to make sure that I want you to come back. Maybe ain't none of us will come back. We're just going to kill us anyway. Let's forget the use of struggling. very personal memory that I have. What about you all? I want you all to find yourselves. Can't fight without a reason, right? Mm -hmm. Unless you're a bully. Yeah. In that case, you're just fighting for your insecurities. Mm -hmm. And it's just Cloud and Tifa. And what are you going to do? Forget. I'm all alone. I don't have anywhere to go. That's right, you live in a bar. Everyone else is gone. Yeah, we don't have any. You're right. But I'm sure someday they'll come back. Don't you think? Hmm, no wonder. 
Everyone has something to replace with that they're holding on to. But this time, our opponent. Hmm. But that's all right if no one... Comes back. As oh. long as we're together with you by my side, I'll never give up, no matter how bad it gets. Tifa? No matter how close we are now, we're far apart before. But when we were in the live stream, surrounded by all those dreams of anguish, I thought I heard your voice. You know what's really funny about this scene? Probably don't remember that. But deep in my heart, I heard you call my <laughs> name. Or at least I thought I did. What's really funny about this scene, though, is like, you really know who's getting friend zoned here. You know what's really sad, though, is like, Cloud, Cloud. that's your childhood friend. You? She's smoking hot. She's head over heels for you. I think Cloud liked her too before. But you also got to remember though, on disc one though, there's a scene where they meet Kate Sith. And whenever he read their fortunes, he said he goes, poor Tifa. Mm. But the stars aligned really well for him and Aerith though. That's a shame that she died. I know, right? See, that's how you know you're getting friend zone. He doesn't even put his arm around her. It's almost dawn. Until dawn. Really fucked up game, by the way. It's like, come on, Cloud. She's right there. What are you waiting for? Get her! Fucking right in the pussy! <laughs> Love that pre-rendered uh, pre animation. How much energy does that thing have considering it's been covering the entire time? That's I a know. lot of gasoline. That's a lot! I mean... It's solar powered? I mean, think about it. <laughs> oh, this is before solar powered. This was 1997, whenever this came out. Where did they get all this gasoline to power I know. this thing? It's fiction. I know, I shouldn't be questioning this, should I? <laughs> well, unless you played it, though, then you have an answer to everything. Yeah, that's true. Let's go. That is the ultimate friend zone scene right there. Yes, nothing happened. She joined. He joined Soldier so she could notice him, and then now. Yeah, she's too big for just the two of us. It's a little, little alone without everybody around. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I'll make a big enough ruckus for everyone. Besides, I'm the pilot. No more flying around casually like before. We want time to fill them all now. Oh no. Huh? <clears throat> Shannon, I think you spoke too soon. It's moving. Yeah, spoke too soon. <laughs> There's Kate and Sid. There's Barrett and Sid. Well, all you people found your stuff that quickly? Within one day? Jeez. Oh, is this okay with you? I would like to take a moment and say thank you, Blondie. <laughs> Why did you tell me? Well, you know, Sid. Hey, Nanaki. You butt in now, you'll never know what I'll say later. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
So they were there the entire time. Yeah, they were eavesdropping. Why such a puzzled look? You don't want me to come? It's just you're always so cool with what, what is happening. I thought you didn't care. Cool. Hmm. I guess it's how I am. Sorry. See, even that was badass. Yeah. Well, look at here. The shitter man had just come back. Excuse me, but I wanted to come with the main group, but I couldn't get away. So some people in Midgard took me in. I know I have a stuffed animal body, but it'll work really hard. Well, I guess that's everyone. No, Yuffie's missing. She ain't gonna show up. At least this time she didn't get to steal our materia. Thank God for that. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. You know, as high as she jumps, you think she would at least vomit it in midair. That would be awesome. Thanks, everyone. We didn't come back for your spiky headed ass. Came back here for Marlene. I guess it's just my feelings or something. I, uh, I ain't got no words now. Although she's not here, she left us with a window of opportunity. We can't let it go like this. Aerith. She was smiling to the end. We can't just let it end with that smile. We have to do something. Let's all go together. Memories of Aerith. Although she should have returned to the planet by now, something stopped her and now she's stuck. We've got to let go of Mer Aerith's memory. God rest her soul. Has anyone changed their minds? Counting on you, Sid. Yeah, yeah. These two big levers have been bugging me for a while. Let me try them out. <laughs> so what should I do? You decide, Cloud. This is our last battle. Our target is North Cave. Our enemy is Sephiroth. So let's move out. Love the way this happens. Pulls those two levers. Apparently oh, he's got some boosters. Oh, I remember this. I don't know where they get all this fuel for this stuff. <laughs> you gotta wonder. <laughs> um, so... This means... We're almost at the North Cave. We're on our way, Sephiroth. Get ready. Man, I'm gonna stick it in him. What is this, Sid? <clears throat> Some irresistible force losing control. <clears throat> um... Get out of here, flunkies. Then I tell you all to go home. Yes, sir, but this is our home. Oh, but... Stop trying to act so cool. All right, you jokers. I'll be down with everything you got. Geronimo! So, I remember this. This means... Yep. It's exactly what it means. End of part two, or if you were on the console, end of disc two. We are now officially on disc three. <sighs> it's been a long journey so far. Yeah, there's, still, there's still plenty more that we got to do. Mm -hmm. A couple more challenges even that I want to do as well too. So before we end this game, we are going to plan out what we're going to be doing next. We're going to be taking some time apart, a couple of weeks because we've got some other things we want to get done as well, too. But we will resume Final Fantasy VII Part 3, or Disc 3, if you will, at this point. <laughs> so, before we go on to Disc 3, 
Got any uh, last words? For this too? It's been a hell of a journey. I would like to thank Shannon for uh, for uh, making an appearance. I'm glad to make an appearance here. <laughs> Absolutely. The more the merrier. Mm -hmm. So. Saproth! Come for you, bitch. Come for you, bitch. You're mine! <laughs> So, uh, <clears throat> we'll see you when we come back after break, y'all. Much love, and, uh, see you on the battlefield. Peace out! I'll see y'all later. Peace!